So my name is Lily Heinter. I am an environmental science major. I'm a sophomore this year. I've always been passionate about sustainability, even from a young age, but I I didn't think I wanted to study earth science or anything until I got into some of these classes. I came in as biology, thought I wanted to do that, and then started taking some earth science classes and took earth system science, took sustainability, and just fell in love with it even more and found that I was really passionate about environmental justice and environmental racism, especially in this community. And the classes all just work together so well and bring just a really comprehensive uh, understanding of how our earth works and then what we can do about it. And I'm able to pair, because I'm a, uh, I'll be a sustainability concentration in the fall and that really allows me to take the science side of it and pair it with writing and uh, the literature and policy side of it too to kind of learn how to take the science and then translate that into change and in action. So I found the iSymmetry program because Dr. Farley, who's my honors advisor, sent an email to me and said, hey, you should look at applying for this. And so I looked into it, it's like, oh, that looks interesting, I'll give it a shot, I'll, there's probably too many people that'll apply, I'll just go ahead and apply, and it's good practice, and so I um, applied for it in January, and then two weeks ago, um, got an interview, and had an interview with them, um, but it, it's a really neat program, this is the first year that they're doing it, that they're planning to go overseas, and we'll be studying uh, a specific type of wood treatment called torrefaction, where um, it's only using heat to treat wood and it doesn't use chemicals that can be damaging to the environment. So we'll be writing a kinetic model for this wood treatment and trying to distinguish between the different ways that you can alter the treatment to get different types of wood products and then looking at that and how it applies to the industry and the economy and environment from then on. I'm really looking forward to having a deeper understanding of the science of this. This science is a bit out of my comfort zone. Uh, it's very chemistry, very physics, very math based. And so it's going to give me uh, a lot of experience in that type of research. And then just working with others and working with professionals in the field too, we'll be writing uh, peer-reviewed research and publishing research and um, presenting it to different conferences as well. So there's, I, it's gonna be a crash course in scientific research and I'm so excited just to uh, really have, have experience with that after this. It's, it's gonna give me a lot, <laughs> a lot in a short amount of time. I think our location is pretty close to Switzerland and um, even Luxembourg too, so I'm hoping that we'll have some time to really explore and see all different things. I know I've looked a bit into Epinal, they have uh, like an arboretum that we'll hopefully get to visit and the campus itself looks to be gorgeous. So I'm just excited to get out of the country honestly and just experience different culture and um, really immerse myself in something different than what I experience every day. Yeah, this is going to give me that foundation for whatever I want to do. And even though it's not specifically, uh, like directly um, associated with environmental justice, it's, it's kind of one of those uh, background ways that we can address climate change and, and just different environmental issues because it seems like there should be this overarching way to address environmental issues, but there isn't, there's lots of little ways. And so this is one way that we can just start to change our systems and our habits. And if that's replacing different wood treatment across the US with this type that's more eco-friendly, that would be amazing. And we're just, we're taking those steps to keep those chemicals out of our waterways, out of our, um, out of our meals eventually, out of our food. So um, it's just, 
it's just going to be a great way for me to learn that that background, that science research background, and start some peer review, like published works, to have that <laughs> under my belt. <laughs> I'll say I've grown a lot in the last year. I came in and was determined to get involved in things, but was still terrified to do so. Um, I hated public speaking. I didn't, I, I, something like this would have made me very nervous. I, I just, I didn't, I was learning to push myself still. And I think that's the biggest thing is that I learned that I grow the most when I'm outside of my comfort zone. And that's kind of what this internship is doing for me. Uh, I'm finding in some of my classes I'm like falling back into my comfort zone and I don't want to do that. So I'm trying to get back out of it and really push myself to keep learning and to keep growing in all different ways. And so this school has really allowed me to do that because even when I get comfortable in one thing, there's always another opportunity for me to then step out and learn something.